Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. How are you guys? Good morning. It is Monday. Well, actually, it is afternoon. It's like almost 2 o'clock. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I've had a late start. Um, my doctor canceled on me this morning. They were sick. So, I let them know that I was a little disappointed uh, because I own my own business and I stop and I don't have a job that day because I'm going to the doctor and then for a doctor to call out, it's just not fair. So they did apologize, but we rescheduled for next Tuesday. So it is what it is. They asked if I wanted to do it over the phone, and I don't. I need to talk to the doctor in person. So I said I don't need to talk to a doctor who's not feeling well. You know, then he's not up to his game, you know? Not thinking right. I don't need to have... I need a clear head in mind. So, um, so that's been rescheduled. And then tomorrow I'm going for that scope, so that's good. So I can't forget to not eat tonight. So right now I am going over to the dollar store real quick. I'm going to get some more popsicles because those really work for me at nighttime now. Instead of having candy or junk food or any of that stuff, having a couple of popsicles, two, three popsicles are satisfying enough to me. But I really like these cotton candy ones because it's not they're not too hard, but they're not too soft. They're just right. It's like almost having like a like a slush almost in your mouth. <laughs> so I like that. So they're a soft kind. So I'm gonna go get a bunch of those. Stick them in my, in my bag and come right back here, drop those off. I gotta bring my vacuum inside because I just um because I just broke glass when I was looking for my pictures and stuff. So um and then tomorrow when I go see my mom, um, I'm going to ask her and see if she can show me some pictures, if she has any pictures, like old pictures, baby pictures, stuff like that of me. But um, after the fire, I don't know what they have left. So, But she did say she had some, so I want to take a look and see what she's got. I don't know what she has, but I'm trying to keep everybody out of the pictures. Like, this whole thing is just supposed to represent me. I don't need me with my my dad in there. I don't need me and my mom. I don't need me and Dennis, you know. Because my doctor, if he does show up here, which I think he's going to, he was also Dennis's doctor. And my family, like, this is Dennis's five-year anniversary. Now, you guys, I don't talk about it with you, but I don't talk about Dennis even with my family because... They knew Dennis for 10 years. They, you know, welcomed him into their home and treated him like family. So he was part of the family. And my stepdad and, and him got close to, to as close as you can get to Dennis. Because <laughs> Dennis was kind of like his old. He, he was just a goofball. He was never serious. So it was hard probably to talk to him. But because John said that the day that he, it was my birthday. And he was sick, so we all came to my house. He had already started um, chemo. And he must have already gone through his second. He was either his first. I think it was his first one or his second one. But I think it might have been his second, but it might have been his first. I don't remember. So it's his first or second one. So he wasn't feeling well. We couldn't really go out. So my mom and my stepdad, my brother and my sister, they came to the house. My John and Dennis was there. And John and Dennis, they talked. Um, Mom got him, we got Chinese food. So we had gotten him a soup and he liked the soup. So he was able to eat the soup. And he was talking to De John about all his stuff. Like, I really wasn't paying attention to any of this. But J John said to me that that day he noticed that Dennis was being serious. Like, Dennis knew he was dying. Like, he was talking to, you know, showing all his stuff and talking about all the stuff he had. And, and John knew. Because John knows that Dennis doesn't usually talk to him like that. So when Dennis ended up in the hospital in June or like the end of May, June, I know my mom and my stepdad came once. But that was the last time John saw Dennis because I think I'm not quite sure how Dennis was doing that particular day. I think he was doing OK that day. But that was the time where he needed a blood transfusion and he was really, really sick. He had low white blood count, low red blood count. Um, it was terrible. He needed like he needed to be in the ICU and then he needed to be in the um, 
in the, uh, and then he ended up going on to the oncology unit, which is the, you know, the heart, I mean, the, the cancer wing, which is the best wing to be on, by the way, <laughs> they treat you like royalty, um, the cardiac unit, not so much, <laughs> I don't like the cardiac units, they have asshole nurses, <laughs> sorry, but you're assholes, <laughs> be nicer, <laughs> Especially the people that are losing people. <laughs> or going through a hard time. They're just not nice. You know, so anyways. Um, so we were there. And then my stepdad and my mom came there. And that was the last time he saw Dennis. Because then Dennis ended up coming back home. Which I fought for him to get back home. Nobody would give me the right information. And then there was a shit show with his kids. And then he ended up in um, the hospital. John didn't see him then. He was only there for a couple of days. I got him into inpatient hospice. Fought for that big time. And then got him there. And that was in Milton, uh, the Milton place. Um, very, very nice place. Um, do they know how to do catheters? No. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Um they were very nice. I stayed with him 24 hours a day. Um, he didn't want his kids there 24 hours, so we told him that he had, they had to be here between this time and this time, and that's it. Um, they could have called me and made an accommodation, but nobody showed up. You know, they showed up one, two, two times, that's it. So, um, they, um, so John didn't want to see him when he was in hospice. So, it was too hard for him. So it was it was hard. Dennis, Don and I don't really even talk about Dennis that much. Um, Mom and I don't talk about Dennis that much, but I know they must be hurting too. Um, they know, especially when they knew how much it hurt their child, you know. So, um, so for me, for them to finally see me doing good, uh, probably makes them feel good that you know, okay, I don't I don't actually have to worry a hundred percent about Jaden anymore, like. I have to worry that I'm going to get a phone call that he's dying or dead or overdosed or died or in the mental hospital. <laughs> so it's nice to be able to be like, you know, and I had to train my mom for a long time over this past year. Like every time I call her, she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What do you need? You know, I'm just like, mom, just saying hi. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine, mom. <laughs> I don't always need to call you when something's wrong. And she'll still do that now. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a mother's instinct. They just like. What's wrong, hon? Something wrong. You're calling me because something's wrong, huh? No, Mom, nothing's wrong. I'm just calling to say hi, Mommy. <laughs> hi, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> Love you, Mommy. <laughs> you know, like, it's just funny. So, um, so, and, and it really just amazes me what I've accomplished and what I've gone through in the last five years. And to literally do a 360, not a 180, but a 360 and very quickly. I'm happy. I'm, I'd rather be high on life than high on drugs. <laughs> so, let's go to the dollar store. I don't have much money, so I'm really being very careful. I'm literally just getting the popsicles, which is probably about three boxes and maybe two to three boxes. And um, I'm just getting one, um, um, whatchamacallit, platform, um, the thing for the pictures, and that's it, that's all I'm in, and then I'm going to do the pictures right now, and then that's all, so I will see you guys in a little bit, I'm going to go get some pictures developed, and go from there, and then later, uh, later today, I'm going to continue working on the babies, because I got the baby's body, which I'm happy about the size of the body, so I'm, I'm excited to see what she's going to look like when she's put together, hopefully all the clothing, that clothing I bought her is going to fit, so we'll find out. But, um, she is going to look so cute on a cloth diaper. Oh, my God. Especially when you just put a cloth diaper on her and let her ro run around naked <laughs> with just diaper on. That would be really cute. <laughs> so, that would be funny. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think some cute cloth diapers would be nice for her. So, she'll be my cloth diaper baby <laughs> with a couple of regular diapers. But, yeah, I have tons of cloth diapers. That would be perfect for her size, you know? So... Um, so I'm going to finish her up today and then continue working on Jayla, which is the five-year-old and, um, go from there. Now I've noticed each kit actually takes paint differently. 
you notice that? I don't know about that, but um, it seems like the, the new vinyl that they provide today is really, really nice, and it blends the, the paint very well together. And then the old ones don't do that as well, or you have to use a different technique for it or something. So I don't know, but I'm going to tell you, Jalen came out the best that I've ever done. All right? I even made... Um, um, I even made... Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to get hit by an 18-wheeler. What the hell, dude? <laughs> he didn't go out far enough or something. I don't know, but I didn't want to hit this guy, and I didn't want to get hit. Jeez. So, um, dude, stop asking me for money. I'm not even looking, okay? Jesus. <laughs> like, go away. <laughs> A part of them not giving you my hard-earned money right now. Oh my god, that sucked. Okay, I, now I'm out of my heart's back into my chest. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Trying to live. To go see Angel. Angel, don't worry, I'm okay. He didn't hit me. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so... I have a client I have to go talk to now because she's asking me if I can get this fence done in one day. I believe we can because I have five people now on that job because I am going to be doing, I think there's 10 or 11 shadow boxes. They're going up and up on the second floor and on the first floor. They need to be in a two by four. So I'm going to have my buddy Chris do that job with me. And while I have the other three guys on the fence job. And I am can't tell you what I'm making. That's the sad part. But I'm sorry. Can't tell you what I'm making. Um, basically, I'm hiring people to do the job and I'm making money doing it. How's that? That's the way you're supposed to do it. So that's what I'm doing. I am making money and I'm having other people do the job for me. So... I'm making good money. <laughs> I mean, over a grand. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. That's all I know. Um, but I am doing... Um, so, we'll see what happens. So, I'm hoping that we can get it done in, in one day. That's what we're hoping. I mean, my guy says he thinks he can get it done in one day, and he does fences all the time. So I kind of, I kind of subcontracted this out a little bit. But I told him, I said, "This is what I got to work with. Are you good to good for it?" And he was like, "Yeah." So he'd rather make money than not make money at all. And he said he could get it done in one day. So I hope that's the case. If not, I mean, we just come back another day and finish it up. But he says he thinks he can get it done in one day. Wow, is it busy in here today or something? I'll just park over here. One, two, three things. So. Yep. So, that is the way to be a real businessman. You hire, you hire people to do the jobs for you. And you make money doing it. So, I will be on the job. I will be working. But I'll be making the most money. And I'll be doing the least amount of work. I'll be more the guy that's making sure everything's good and if someone needs a hand or if I need to go to the store and get supplies or whatever, that's what I, that's my job. So, I have to call this, uh, talk to this client and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'll see you guys when I get back home. Hey guys, so I did try and go and do the pictures, but that didn't work out right now because I have over 5,000 pictures on my phone. And I can't get my phone pictures onto my computer. So I have no idea what to do. <laughs> so I want to try first and do it myself. If not, then I'm going to see if my family can help me because they have an Apple computer. Maybe it's the Apple computer. Maybe I need an Apple computer in order to use a stupid phone. So I have no idea. So I've never been able to get my pictures onto my phone. I really, I mean, onto my computer. I need to. 
So if I need to buy a different computer, I have no idea. My computer sucks. I hate it. So I need to get my pictures onto my computer. I don't even need them on the computer. I need them on the one in my external hard drive. Then once I can get them on my external hard drive, then I can go through all the pictures that I want for my party, for my transition, to go, you know, and then print just those. And then I don't have to spend so much time if, to, for it to download. So I went all the way to Walgreens. That didn't work. Then I was going to go and get ink cartridge that um i should just try that i should just try that because i could just go over to staples i so what happened was is i forgot what the size of the ink that i needed and that was why i couldn't get it so i went all the way to target for nothing so I think it's a 63, not sure. So now I'm going to end up having to probably just go over to Staples because they didn't even have 63s in just the color. They had it in um, in a black and a white. And I'm not spending 50-something bucks. So um, I'm probably going to just try it, just to try it, because it's just worth trying. Because if I can't do anything else, at least I can be printing them out at home here and there. You know what I mean? So I'd rather try and do it at home if I can. Even though it might be a little bit more money. So I think... I'm trying to think. Just because tomorrow I'm going to the surgery thing. And I could be working on that in the morning, you know? But it is 5.30. And I could be cooking dinner and doing the baby. But... Uh, Staples is right down the street. So I just don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to leave it for another day. Um, it makes more sense. Jaden never knows what he wants to do. He's always fighting with himself. Never knows what he wants to do. And he can never make up his mind either. I, I have no place to put anything. It's pissing me off. I got to do my dishes. I got to do everything. So, All right. So I am actually going to call this a night because... I have so much to do right now. I have to get ready and settle in and all that stuff and eat. And I'm trying to cook the baby one last time and all this stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? So I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here the next time. Have a good night, guys.